finish with another story. This is supposed to be a short speech. <laughs> um, it concerns a story that's been going around about me for years. It's about time it was <laughs> um, the day I was on continuity. <laughs> 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 Um, the Kennedys of Castle Ross, the commercial tape of 15 minutes, was rolling behind me. And I decided to uh, ring my mother and tell her that I would not be home for dinner. <laughs> now, my mother was listening to the radio at home in the kitchen. And the telephone was in the hall. And when, I lift, when she lived up the receiver, I, could, I knew right away she was listening to the Kennedys of Castle Ross, to the tape. And she said to me, Sean, I can't hear you very well, just a moment, until uh, I lower the set. And at that time, we had the luxury of a tape man in continuity. And I mentally or verbally uh, said to him, should this be for the one there? I can fake it. And I didn't do it. <laughs> people were asked in the Irish Times uh, to give their views of radio, like uh, Benedict Kiley, uh, Eamon Andrews, and Terry Wogan. And I read here from the Irish Times of March uh, the 20, 28, 1986, and this is Terry talking about Henry Street. It's a far cry from the BBC TV theatre on Shepherd's Bush Green to Radio Ard and Henry Street. But with accelerating sincerity approaching, I find that for Iris, I can't for the life of me remember who I interviewed yesterday. I remember very clearly the broadcasts and the personalities of 20 more years ago. And the O'Mahony stopping a record because it was interfering with our philosophical discussion and plunging the pain people of Ireland into total silence for some minutes before he realized what he had done. <laughs> Sean O'Casey, an engineer, on the phone to his mother, with her complaint that her mother radio seems very loud. With a subtle flick of the wrist, he turns the entire output down. <laughs> Once again, the pain, pain people of Ireland kick their sets in puzzlement. <laughs> now, uh, Terry, as you know, was here recently to launch his book, and I took the opportunity to put a meeting. He was down on the Gay Barn Radio Show. And um, I hadn't seen him for 20 years. And the corridor at the moment, for some strange reason, is not very well lit. And he was coming out of the studio, and I could barely see him, you see. So I went up to him, and I said, uh, hello, Kerry, this is Sean McKay. I said, I know who you are. I knew the man that faded the station. <laughs>